A Gift of Hope, Helping the Homeless by Danielle Steele. This is not a fiction book, but she is a fiction writer. She writes love stories. I have never read her books, but maybe I should someday just to kind of keep an open mind. This particular book here is very serious. Now, after her son committed suicide, she went to a church and prayed. She said, I need to help somebody. I need to do something greater for someone else. And a voice came to her head and said, help the homeless. Obviously, that was God or an angel speaking to her. And so that's what she did. She was reluctant at first. She didn't really want to do it. She was afraid. She was trying to make excuses, but there were no excuses. This was her mission. She had prayed about this. This is what she was going to do. And this book is essentially about her mission to help the homeless by handing out money, food, coats, gloves, uh, Christmas gifts, and things like that. She said, I liked working outdoors and on the streets, going to look for people and handing them the things personally and not going through someone else to do it. And that's how I would like to give if I had more money and such, uh, just to give it to somebody right there, not give the money to an organization to hopefully maybe give to the homeless. This experience caused her to think about a lot of things that she was not accustomed to and learn a lot about the homeless. She learned that shelters are dangerous. They are a place of violence. Women get raped there. People have items stolen. People get diseased at the homeless shelters. She said there are more men on the streets than women. I think it's like 10 to 1 uh, ratio. You know, there's a lot of men, and uh, many of them are veterans. They are, you know, mentally ill and so forth. And uh, she says the system doesn't help those who are less functional and the more disturbed or damaged. They help those who can help themselves just a little, but they don't really try to assist those who are really, really down and you know have hit rock bottom. She says the Department of Public Works just harasses homeless people. They leave them deprived and more destroyed. You know, like when they go and demolish a homeless camp because of drugs or whatever. And I, you know, I can kind of see their point, but still, you know, that's where people live and you know, in their tents. And, you know, what are they going to do? They're just going to have to go somewhere else. The, uh, she also said the majority of the homeless people are mentally ill and they have a disordered mind. The homeless are tired and broken. They have lost teeth. Some have lost limbs, you know, like arms and legs. Some have AIDS and uh, other diseases, you know. They're out on the street. They're in the elements. They can get frostbite, too. You know, homelessness is worse today than it was when this book was published. This book was published in 2012, and currently that is 10 years ago, because right now this is 2022. So people are homeless because of lack of work, uh, COVID, and uh, many other factors. You know, all the factors then and new factors now. So the homeless problem has increased dramatically in that 10 year time span. But I like this book and uh, I only got it because it was nonfiction. I thought that would be interesting, you know, to read something by her at least, uh, since I've never read any books by her, but to read a nonfiction to start with that. Well, anyway, that's all I got. Talk to you later. Bye.